are a few studies in development, um, none of which are open yet in NETS, um, both at Stanford and at UPenn. Um, we have a trial that is not yet open, um, but we'll be combining intratumoral ipilimumab and, um, and an anti pdl one agent. It, really just an exploratory phase one, two trial looking both at safety and early efficacy. Um, it's been funded by the Caring for Carcinoid Foundation. So um, it's still early, um, but I think we're all hoping to start looking at this in the form of clinical trials. One exciting thing is that it seems that these immunotherapy agents may be agnostic to disease sites. So perhaps, I think, I mean, that's on a daily basis we're hearing about new FDA approvals and a number of diseases and there seem to be other diseases like gastric cancer for example and lymphoma for which that um, sort of class of therapies may also be effective so I think we're just hopeful that it may also apply to NETS. Um, I think the other thing that was interesting is that though initially it was thought that pdl one or PD-1 expression may be required in order to be a predictive biomarker and I think that that's also something they've recognized may not absolutely be necessary. So um, again, we hope to collect really important correlative information um, in these clinical trials, but um, it, the expression may not be a requirement.